All right, so everybody wants the generational wealth XRP exit strategy. So let me break it down and make this simple for everybody to understand. Now, the funny part about this is we don't actually exit the asset, meaning we don't sell, right? We bought into XRP, but we're actually not going to hit the sell button. What we're going to do is we're going to leverage our XRP and we can do so in many ways. So we're going to have plenty of options. You're going to have automated market makers. You're going to have staking, lending, all sorts of DeFi programs that are in a decentralized on the XRP ledger. But then you're also going to have institutions like PolySign, which are mostly fo focused on institutional level clients at this time. But you're going to have PolySign. You're going to have Uphold. You're going to have exchanges like Bitstamp that are going to offer you 2% on your XRP and their uh, XRP Lend program. You get 2%. That just came out this week. The community was very disappointed but I like to reiterate the point that this is just one of many DeFi programs uh, ability, you know, ways for us to leverage our XRP into the next deal. Now, the big part about this is that you're going to have to have another deal to put your XRP into. So you're going to have to understand that next asset class, whether that be real estate, whether that's businesses, whether you're going to go buy equity stock in another company, or whether you're going to go buy some more crypto. Right. Or maybe you're just going to hold your XRP forever. I'm not here to tell you what to do, but the generational wealth XRP exit strategy for me is taking my XRP to one of these institutions, one of these banks, one of these exchanges, an automated, automated market maker on the XRP ledger and leveraging my XRP. And I might put some XRP over here when this automated market maker, I might put some over here at this bank, at this institution, they're going to be competing for our business. So the beautiful thing here in the XRP community is that if we just have the ability to hold the asset and then wait for this reset to play out. So, you know, the, the trillion dollar question that you're asking is, well, what price are you going to leverage your XRP or take out a loan against your XRP? For me, it's not about price. It's about seeing this reset completed. The reset has begun. It's underway for sure. You're starting to see every single day. It's starting to hit the mainstream news on how a new financial system is needed, how the existing one is burning down. We have a banking crisis still underway. The cryptocurrency exchanges are still folding, getting sued and collapsing. So we are watching the old system collapse and we are waiting for the new system to be born. Once that is completed, along with the other series of events that we're watching closely, that's when I will leverage my XRP. It's not necessarily at a price point at $10 XRP, $50 XRP, 589 XRP. It's post reset, post collapse of the old system and the new system has been born. We have clarity. That's the other part that I'm going to be waiting for is regulations set so we know the rules of the road when we go to leverage our XRP and these digital assets. So with that being said, guys, I'm not here to give you financial advice, but I hope you like that breakdown, generational wealth, XRP, exit strategy.